Hey, Will. Hey, Ross. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Welcome, everybody, to the <laughs> What You Don't Hear podcast. This is a 15-minute Friday where myself and a returning guest sit down one more time, but this time to talk about a specific topic or subject with the goal of hopefully sending you into your upcoming week or your weekend mm-hmm. that starts tomorrow for sure because this is a Friday with some maybe, hopefully, some positive, actionable, thought-provoking advice and opinion all about whatever the topic is that we're talking about. Yes, Joining sir. me one more time, William Fairbanks, back on the yes. show. My friend, thank you for always being down to right. do these. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. These back are, like we never left, man. We're here. These are always conversations that we have in normal life anyway. Yeah, so every time why I talk to you. get them for a podcast? Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? We chat often. We chat often. We really do. Yeah. This chat, though, has a time limit. We're going to try and knock it out with another, another attempt to knock it out within 15 minutes. That's exciting. Let's see if we can do it. So the topic of this 15 minute Friday yes. is how to be more present. Mm-hmm. This is something you and I have, again, it comes up in a lot of casual conversation. This is a conversation that I feel like I have with a lot of people because I feel like a lot of us are fighting this kind of on a daily thing of, of 10%. trying to be more present, whether it's with your larger scope mm-hmm. goals or dreams or your day-to-day interactions with right. people. So I'm going to toss the floor to you, cool. and I'm going to let you kick this one off. All right. Um, man, being present can be one of the hardest things in the world, right? I struggle with it today as I prepared to come here. Like, I went to the gym this morning, killed my workout. Yeah, I did some chest. Yeah, I did some I can, core. I can see it. I can you see know, it. we work <laughs> in the summer, summer on the way. But um, <laughs> I went to the gym. I came home, and I said, this is the game plan, William. You're going to shower, and then you're going to edit for a couple of hours. You're going to get food, and then you're going to head out to the podcast, right? I get home, and my mind starts going and I'm thinking about all the other things that I have to do. I have a, um, a Korg mini log at the crib. One of the keys is broken. For some reason, my mind decided to harp on that. As soon as I get back from the gym, I didn't shower anything, right? And I need to shower and eat because fun fact, you absorb most of whatever the nutrients right after your workout, like from your meal. So you want to eat 30 minutes out right after. I digress. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> No, but um, there's a reason why I said that because I told myself, all right, William, go home, shower, eat so that you can fit in within that 30 minute to 45 minute window after your workout. Right. I get home. I start playing around with stuff. I'm like, oh, man, I really need to get this um, this keyboard fixed because I need to make it this album in the future. Things that don't even matter. Mm -hmm. It's like, William, you had a plan. Stick to the plan. I was I was able to snap out of it. Right. But it's easy for your mind to wonder, wander, wonder and wander. Both. Of all these different things that you have going on, right? Mm-hmm. All the big plans that you have in the future. So can we talk about that a little bit? Because yeah. before we started recording, you mentioned like, the, hey, that was something we could toss in this episode mm-hmm. was the idea of those like micro and macro moments of, mm-hmm. you know, looking towards those like pie in the sky, sort of like, here's my big dream and goal. Right. Should I be working towards that right now? But there's also these things that are, in the moment. And right. I know that I'm guilty of doing that a right. lot where I will sit and I'm like, okay, right now, these are the things I need to be focused on or doing right. and I'm doing them, but I'm also thinking 10 steps yep. ahead and I'm, I'm trying to look forward to like, what is this going to do for this? And I'm right. not even saying that's a bad thing. Right. It's not. I'm just saying that it's kind of a lot to juggle. 110%. So, whoa. Well, so we go. Check, walk check. me through, walk me through the idea of you know, what, what, why even you brought that up of the micro macro sort of like goals and all that sort of stuff, man. So we hear it all the time. We've hear, heard it all through our lives. It might be kind of cliche, but the small things matter. The small things make up the big picture, right? Um, it takes the first step that's being present. The first step, right? We oftentimes, like you said, we're seeing many years down the road, right? This is a marathon. RIP nip. This is a marathon. We're not running. We're not sprinting. So enjoy the moment. Focus. Because if you want to make something beautiful, it takes focus, right? If you're focused on a million, if you, if you don't have the focus and your mind is on a million other things, right, you're going to miss something, right? Being present is absolutely key. And it takes training, right? It takes a level of dedication and discipline to say, I'm going to do this today and I'm not going to do anything else, right? And sometimes the things that we have to do in the present aren't things that we want to do. 
right? There's some projects, we ain't gonna say no names, but like there's some projects where I'm like, damn, I wanna do the project that's after this, right? But we cannot miss, we cannot, what's the word? We cannot, uh, what is the word that I'm looking for, Ross? Like overlook? Overlook, we can't. Um, dismiss? Dismiss, there it is. We cannot dismiss those things that need to be done, right? We want to do a million things, right? But we have to stay dedicated to what you said you would do, right? There's, there's work, right? And then there's work. All of it is work, right? Even when you love to do it, right? There's those things that you really enjoy to do, like I love writing and I love being creative. And then, but then at the same time, I still got to stack my chips. There's work you want to do and work you have to do. Exactly. So don't neglect the things that you have to do. Be there. Be in the present. And while at the same time, let's not just talk about like, oh, this sucks. You got to do the things you suck that suck. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Um, no, enjoy it. Because every experience, good or bad, is forming you. Tough or easy is forming you, right? The, and, and everything that you're doing in the present is going to set you up for the future. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So always remember that like the big picture is a beautiful thing, but you have to stay in the moment to get to that future, if that makes sense. Yes, and I think so much of that taps into the other point of learning to enjoy the journey. Exactly. And... That is something that I truthfully, like I, I'm not very good at. Why is I'm that? not very good at just enjoying the journey because I get so fixated. I won't say obsessed because mm -hmm. I think that's a little bit of a strong word, but I get fixated on disciplining myself to, you know, break down the structure of like, okay, how do I, how do I take this goal and how do I turn it into a plan? Right, I'm right, always right, so right. focused on the plan, right? Because I'm, I'm looking, or, or maybe it's not even be fo being focused on the plan. Maybe it's actually being too focused on the goal. Right. And then I forget the plan. What am I doing in the now? Right. What am I feeling in the now? And I don't even want to just limit this to, you know, the word work that we right. keep using. Right, 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 right. I feel like I feel this a lot in life. And this is something that I've tr been doing a lot of work on right. recently to get better at right. is learning to enjoy things as they are in the moment. Mm. Because I have identified that I'm not always that great at it. Right. And we hear it all the time. It's the cliche saying, enjoy the journey. Yeah, exactly. Because you're going to get to the destination. You're going to get to the thing. You're going to get to the goal that you want. And then guess what? There's going to be a whole other level of stuff that you're going to be going through again. So right. then you have to learn to identify that win and accept right. the win and be like, I made it to where I said I wanted right. to go, but now On there's the next something thing. next. Yeah, and it's like the journey <clears throat> isn't just point A to point B one right. time. Right. Or even point A to point Z. Right. The journey is everything. Exactly. It's everything. It goes yeah. everywhere for as long as we live. Yeah. That is the journey because you're always going to be on that journey. Right. And like I said, like outside of like career and work and all that sort of stuff, like I have been trying to let myself just enjoy more moments in life right. and enjoy more of, okay, this situation is making me feel this way. Like you said. Right good or bad, right? let yourself feel that. Right. And then you can sit and you, if, if it's bad, you can sit, let it feel bad. Right. Right. Feel those emotions. Learn Don't, from it. Yes. Learn from it. Learn mm -hmm. to grow. Don't just sit and be like, okay, we've got to go here. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to exactly. get to the next thing. Obviously, yes. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off and get to the next thing. Right. Find that solution that's needed. If it's something bad that's impacting you. Right. But something, and, and there's a, and we can talk about this off the podcast if right. you'd like. Um, <laughs> Put I, a I pin in that. I won't, I won't share it here. But, you know, there was something recently in life that, you know, at the time of us recording this that made me feel like a really just strange way. Right. In, in a negative way, right? Because right. I, I just overthought it. And I, I overthought myself into just this pit. Got you. Where I was just like, man, like, I just want this. I just want the goal. I right. want the thing. Right. And why am I dealing with this right now? And why can't I just get through it? And it took a couple conversations with friends where, you know, they kind of identified it. And they were like, well, what if you framed it as if, isn't it amazing that something is making you feel right. as strongly as you are right, right. now You're in alive. general? Like, it, it literally is that. As, as cheesy as that might sound. That is so much of what I've been trying to remind myself of. 
whether it's good or whether it's bad, it's amazing that you can feel it. Right. And I know that that's so like somebody could be like, dude, that's I'm right. having the worst day of my life. Like, how that's dare dope, you <laughs> say, how dare you say it's amazing that I'm feeling. Congratulations. This yeah. Oh, it's great for you. <laughs> right. That's not it. But it's like identifying that you can feel those things. Mm-hmm. It, when it, maybe when it's more like a confusing situation right. or just a hard situation to deal with, a challenge. Mm-hmm. Embrace that challenge and understand that it's a part of the journey. Exactly. And then look forward. Keep that goal in mind. Right. Keep the solution in mind. Right. To work towards. But I think it works that way, whether it's good, whether it's indifferent in the right. middle, some sort of a challenge, or whether it's, it's bad. Exactly. I think all of those things... Are, are paths that you can get lost in the journey of exactly. and just be so focused on, I want to get to the end exactly. rather than realizing like, okay, what am I feeling right now? Right. And what can I do with this? And is this a moment and an opportunity for growth or change that maybe I need it? 110% to piggyback off of that. You want to feel like you said, but the key thing is don't stay there. Whether it's good or bad. I know that you mentioned it like being bad, like you dust yourself off, you kept moving forward. Same thing with if it's good. It's all about balance, right? It's all right, experience it, learn from it, enjoy it, and get to the next thing, right? I think about like when I make my first meal. You hear how I said that? <laughs> I think about that moment, right? And it's like, all right, cool. I want to be, this is the thing that I pray. I'm like, Lord, help me to keep, stay even keel. You know what I'm saying? Help me to enjoy that moment. Right. And this is balance. This is the micro versus macro thing that we're talking about. Enjoy it, but understand that there's more to it. Right. Mastering that balance is key to anything. Understanding that. This is cool or this is cold or hot. But I have to get past it. This is good. This is bad. But I have to get past it and get to the next thing. But not thinking too far ahead because one one thing that I've noticed is when I think too far ahead, I stumble. I miss things. I miss deadlines. I miss appointments. I show up late to things. Did. This is past. This is past. This this is things that I've learned. (laughs) He's on time today, folks. I'm on time today, right? It's a matter of focus, right? The greats, they focus, right? Kobe. You know, RIP, one of the greatest to ever do it. When he's focused, he's focused. He's not talking about nothing else but the game. Game day is game day. And I know I talk about work a lot, bro. My work, my life is work, right? I was talking to my mom about this last night on the phone. On my way home from a gig, I'm like, mama, my life right now is just work, which is a beautiful thing. That's my presence, right? That's my present moment. It's work, right? But at the same time, I was telling her, like, yo, I have to learn to cut it off. Like when it's time to chill, chill. Be in that moment. Enjoy that moment. Appreciate that moment because all these moments, again, are needed. You need that rest so that you can get back to work, right? You need to focus on that, that, um, that deadline so that you can meet that deadline and you can get paid, right? You need to focus on that class in that moment, you can't be thinking about old girl that you want to call after class or that party that you're going to hit on Friday. You need to focus on that class so that you can learn that skill, so that you could do that job, so that you can work that career, right? Every present moment, right? Even right now, I'm paying attention to you. I'm learning from you. I'm in the moment. I'm not thinking about what I'm going to do after this, right? I'm thinking, let me nail this podcast, right? Because it's a growing moment. Let me enjoy this podcast. Let me enjoy this moment with my friend. Let me grow from this conversation because every single moment is an opportunity to grow, right? And when you slow things down and you focus on the present, you're able to appreciate it that much more, right? Another thing, another point, if we can just go to it, is talking about not, um, wanting, what was it? Not wanting to outwork every work, like appreciating each trying to outdo every single thing that you, you do. do right everything you do is beautiful right sometimes i go back and i look at some of my um my pieces that i've shot and i'm like oh this trash but then at the same time i'm like oh this is dope like bro you're cool william you're dope and it and it pushes me to go forward and the things that i felt i could have done better at oftentimes was because i was thinking about other things instead of being in that moment and focusing just on that thing Right. When you focus on one thing, you get things done a quick, a lot faster. One of my friends, um, DJ L, Elliot Saba, shout out to the homie. Um, 
he was telling me, he gave me this um, analogy one time. He was like, yo, look at things like when you try to download something to your computer, right? If you do one thing, it downloads a lot quicker. If you try to do like 10, 15 things, them boys all take forever to get to the final mark. I think we've talked Can about we talk this about before. about this? Man, Elliot, you see I'm stick. it's stuck <laughs> with me, fam. It's stuck with me. And that's one of the ways that like I live my life, 110%. It's like, yo... Because I am a dreamer. There's a lot of things that I want to do. I, I got my friends, you know what I'm saying? I got my family, you know what I'm saying? I've got my girl. I got my career. I got my faith. I got my body. I got, I got my writing. I got my novel. You know what I'm saying? I've got um, a visual album that I'm working on. I got, we can talk about all day. About all day. <laughs> The, li yeah, the list, got, each of our lists between the two of us, we could make a 16-hour podcast. I just looked at y'all list over there. It's, <laughs> it's crazy long, right? If I get caught up in all these things that I want to do, I might not ever get there, right? So it's like, all right, William, you've got this that you want to finish. Be here. You've got this person you need to call. Call this person, right? You know how many times that I've made that mistake where I'm like, I need to call such and such. As I go to grab my phone, and another thing, in the present moment, like, control social media. Learn to control social media. Because don't let it control you because the things that you're supposed to do, you'll pick up the phone and you'll be like, oh, snap. Oh, dang. I see you be worried. Like, you know what I'm I saying? I feel like there's a whole other 15-minute Friday on, like, do it. being present with social media 110%. being a, a big factor. Fighting. Yeah. Con con we can title that one, control social media, don't let it control you. Something like yeah. that. You yes. know what I'm saying? Because... I digress. Remember the things that you need to do. Focus on the things that you need to do. Whether it is lifestyle things, remember to eat. Be in that moment. Remember to eat as simple as that. Remember to sleep. If you give yourself, yo, I'm going to sleep at 10 o'clock, go to sleep at 10 o'clock, right? Because you're setting that for a reason. That present moment is set and, and, and dedicated to something specific for a reason. So just appreciate, respect your time, honor your time, um, and be present. Work on it. it I mean, it's work 110%. We broke our 15 minutes, but I, I want to end, end us with this. Okay. Okay. Because this is, this is a, in my opinion, what is a really like fun analogy that I heard about being present. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is from another podcast or interview or something. I did not, obviously, this is not my thing. But this is not my thing. Disclaimer. This is not my thing. Disclaimer. <laughs> I'm not this smart. <laughs> But it. the way it was explained was like, imagine if you were building a house mm -hmm. and you weren't, you, you weren't being present about building the foundation. Mm -hmm. You were so focused on like, man, when we get these rooms built and we get these floors. We're right. going to paint the walls like this. We're going to hang up this art. We're going to decorate right. it like this, this kind of carpet, whatever. So imagine if you were so focused on that in the future, will that foundation mm -hmm. be built as strong as it is, right? So reverting that back into being more present in the right now. It's like, yes, keep those goals in mind. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're working towards those things, but making sure that you're still being present on the journey that you're on to right. make sure you're putting those right pieces in the place. Exactly. Whether you're building the foundation of a house 100%. that needs focused on right now exactly. or adding pieces to yourself right. as you evolve and grow to help propel yourself right. towards that eventual goal. 110%. So it's all about that balance of keeping in mind, this is the end result That's that we want. Result. Don't lose that. But presently, right now, like you were talking about, what needs you to be present mm -hmm. for the current tasks at exactly. hand? Exactly, exactly, 110%. Your foundation is everything, people. That's, that's wise words. Foundation is everything. And I can't remember who said them. Dang. But it, but it was me now. Yeah. And that's all. You heard it from Ross right here, right now on, on What You Don't Hear podcast. That's all. Anyone 50 Minute Fridays. <laughs> that is it. We just did another one, my friend. We did. If anybody wants to come talk to you, maybe about being more present right. or to check out any of your work, where can they find you around the net? Salud. Um, You can find me on all the social handles at Will underscore Fairbanks. That is Will underscore Fairbanks, um, and then you can also check out Torp, all the work that I've been doing under the Torp umbrella at www.torp.life, and then you can also check us out on Instagram at Torpros, T-O-R-P-R-O-S. There it Love. is, another 15 minutes, well, maybe around 20, down and out. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Love, love. Drink y'all water. Love. Be more present. Drink water. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.